I'm Pastor Tice at St. John in Pecatonica. What can you count on today? After all, it's a time when there can be a lot to fear. It's COVID-19. It's protests that can turn into mob action. It's the nightly news with problem after problem and not knowing what is gonna come next. And all the while, we don't have the answers. But that's okay. We don't have to have the answers. Because having the answers or knowing what comes next won't calm our fears. All this news, all that we hear day after day only feeds our fears. But instead of feeding our fears, as I heard our district president say recently, how about letting Jesus feed our faith? It's trusting Jesus that will calm our fears. We don't have the answers. We often don't have the clout or the authority to make changes even if we did have all the right answers. But we do know Jesus. And we know that he knows the mess that our society and that our world and sometimes even our lives are in. And he has for our world, for our society, and for each one of us, a love that we'll, we will never fathom, a love that we will never fully understand. It's the love that nailed Jesus to the cross where he died for all the sin and the fear and the problems of this world, of our society, and even our own lives. This Jesus feeds our faith. He feeds our faith as we look to him for strength and protection. He feeds our faith as we read and trust his promises in the Bible. He feeds our faith as we worship him and receive his sacraments. Let Jesus feed your faith, and faith will address your fears in ways you can only imagine. The Bible says in Isaiah chapter 55, for as the rain and snow come down from heaven and do not return there, but water the earth, making it bring forth and sprout, giving seed to the sower and bread to the eater, so shall my word be that goes out of my mouth. It shall not return to me empty, but it shall accomplish that for which I propose and shall succeed in the thing for which I sent it. Let Jesus feed your faith. He will help calm your fears. God's blessings and his peace as we live in this fallen world, but live as a child of God. Amen.